Welcome to this week's Technicians Around the Table. Matt and I are here to talk about uh, things that are interesting in the service department. And this week we have a question. Uh, thanks to Glenn. This question is from you, Glenn. Uh, great video, guys. Just discovered your content and subscribe to the channel. Uh, for the next video, I was wondering if you could discuss the Screaming Eagle Pro Street Tuner versus the Auto Tuner. Must you have the Street Tuner to use the Auto Tuner, or can you just have the Auto Tuner? What are the advantages or disadvantages of using one or both? Thanks. Matt? Yeah, so I'm the Dino Tuner here at Harley Davidson of Panama City Beach, and uh, start off by saying thanks. Uh, this is a great question. I love it. I love talking about this stuff. And uh, to answer the first one, must you have the street tuner to use the auto tuner? The answer is yes, uh, which piggies backs right into the uh, disadvantage of the auto tuner. It obviously therefore is more expensive. Uh, the street tuner alone is $299.95. With that, you can either take it, do a basic download, find a calibrated map for your bike, and throw it in your bike. Uh, another option with that is to bring it to us and actually have us manually adjust it on a dyno, which is infinitely greater. And the downfall, however, is the street tuner alone can only accurately read a portion of the map for about 40% throttle up to maybe 4,000 RPM, probably not even that. Uh, the bike stock, it uses the stock O2 sensor to do so and with the auto tuner it comes with these bigger wideband o2 sensors that require head modifications for you to use now the auto tuner comes at another price of 399.95 plus the labor that's going to require us to modify the heads for these to headers. go in or the headers sorry <laughs> yeah, the headers to modify for these to go in uh, these are infinitely greater than these. It essentially will monitor and in, in real time the entire map from sitting at idle to 5,000 RPM at full throttle. It'll monitor and regulate and change. It learns your driving ability and it will change as you're riding. Some bikes also require the use of another harness that will allow these to work with your bike. So that is another expense. Uh, but if you care about, if you're a throttle junkie, <laughs> you, you do want this. It is infinitely greater experience. Uh, and great thing is both of these, whether you got the street tuner or the auto tuner, it does keep your warranty intact. So they're both great options and worth investing in. And that's really what it comes down to is this product right here, the Pro Street Tuner, here it actually is, that's the box, is uh, EPA compliant. So that, that keeps the warranty on your new Harley Davidson intact. It keeps the, uh, um, all the watchdogs and everything uh, uh, happy because it maintains the emission standards of your motorcycle. It uses these in conjunction, which these measure, these are primarily for emissions and therefore operate in a lean range, which is scientifically, it's called stoichiometric, which reduces the emissions as much as possible. Um, so th because this is compliant, it only allows so much adjustability within a range that uh, Harley-Davidson and the EPA consider reasonable. Uh, the auto-tune, uh, will allow more adjustment than that because it has a set of these uh, backing up those measurements at all RPM ranges and all throttle positions because these are capable of measuring all the way from very, very rich to very, very lean. So it can set a specific target using these and unlike these which have only one target they're accurate at, these can be accurate for a great range of targets. So it keeps the, uh, keeps the EPA uh, watchdogs happy and allows greater adjustability with your motorcycle and that's the primary place where it's going to be useful is if there isn't enough adjustability uh, in just this itself and a dyno tune we can put this on and increase the, uh, the adjustability range but as Matt said we have to take the headers off we have to drill holes in them we have to tap them we have to put it on there there's a wiring harness that goes with this so it is a little bit more involved if you're only doing it to save a dyno tune it's probably not going to work out as cost effective 
but if you're doing it to keep your motorcycle and your warranty intact and to keep it compliant, then it would be well worth the expense because uh, one engine repair will more than make up for the cost of installing that. So now those answers are based on uh, assuming that Glenn is talking about the Screaming Eagle products. We also have other products. This is a uh, um, uh, PowerVision. Uh, it's a Dynajet product. Uh, allows the remapping of the stock ECM. Uh, this does not uh, meet the, the restrictions for EPA and warranty compliance, but it is another option out there for those of you uh, that have uh, race use only motorcycles. Yeah. And it does also have an auto tune feature as well, very similar to the street tuners auto tuner. And these products right here map your factory ECM so the computer and all the parts on the motorcycle uh, stay original. Um, then of course, then you also have uh, power commanders and things like that that are out there that uh, add an extra piggyback module onto your, uh, onto your motorcycle and do the programming by modifying the signals in and out uh, th that the ECM sees. Um, we prefer reflashing the ECM. We find it to be more reliable, yeah. highly effective, and, uh, and, and does a really good job. Now the auto tuner, uh, the Screaming Eagle auto tuner that goes with this is a court, does put another module onto the outside of your motorcycle, but if you want the warranty and the compliance, it, it's an excellent way to go. Glenn, thank you for the question. Excellent, we appreciate it. And I uh, hope we've answered your question. If you have any more questions about it, then go ahead and uh, hit us up down there again in the comments section. Anybody else, if you have any questions or anything you'd like us to introduce, Go ahead and put them down there in the comment section and we'll address them on a future edition of Technicians Around a Table. And also don't hesitate to come down and see us personally. I personally would never mind setting 10 minutes, 10 minutes of my day aside to talk to one of you guys. But like I said, I love talking about this stuff so it's no bother at all. So if you wish, come on down, see us personally. We'll, we got more information than this that we could show you as well. So. Thanks guys, have a great day. You're supposed to say dynamite. So, um, dynamite? Have a dynamite day! <laughs>